No, don't, don't be afraid to ask. I'm just like saying. All right, there we have it. Uh, oh, we here we go, boys and ladies and gentlemen. This is the big one. All right, the middle game, the one that you know stands between the two. Good day, legends. TJC Sports here. Welcome back to another NRL live stream reaction. Today we're going to be reacting to the second game, the Dragons versus the Cowboys, and hopefully it'll be a little bit closer than that first one, which was, let's face it, a real letdown. Um. I don't want to be a negative Nancy, but that was not good enough for any from any of the Titans for their supporters. Ridiculous. Hopefully, no, not to say that the Dogs didn't do good. The Doggies did great, but ridiculous. Hopefully, we get a better game here. Nostrata Jubilee Stadium. It is the Dragons and the Cowboys. I was at this stadium for Para Raiders, and I must say now, I didn't. I didn't think it was amazing. <laughs> it was an all right stadium, but like. Give me Combank any day. That's what I'll say about it. Give me Combank any day, Legends. That's just my own personal thoughts on it. You Feel free to disagree, though. Feel, also, if you want to let me know who you're voting for, hit that poll, all right, guys? Currently at 75% on the Cowboys, 16 votes in. Let's see how many votes we can have by the end. Currently, the Red Slash Bunker and Draw is on 0%. Nobody is going with those at this moment in time. we currently got about nine minutes till the game kicks off. Hopefully, it's going to be a lot better than the last one. Mate, honestly, though, anything can be better than 32-0, right? I'm a little scared, though, because this game is the kind of game where even though it's 32-0, it's... Is that Brandon Smith on the hill? It's Brandon Smith on the hill. What's Brandon Smith doing on the hill? For, of the freaking Dragon. What? Of course he is. After a loss to freaking South... La I mean, a win against South last night. He's flown through, bro. Crazy stuff, okay? I think Kaka Mellon, with these 50 comments here, has said, up the Cowboys. I think he's going for Cowboys Legends. Um, evening Legends. Evening, Jason Reader, mate. Um, up the Roosters. You're very happy. Of course you're very happy. Last night was a brilliant night if you were a Chuggies fan. If you were a Bunnies fan, you'll choose to never talk about last night again. Cowboys 13+, plus. you think? Um, yeah, most people are going Cowboys 13+. plus. I've gone Cowboys 13+, plus in this one. I think Cowboys should win it, but, um, you know, uh, anything can really happen in these kind of games. It's still early days, okay? Like, I don't want panic stations to be hit for anybody's sides, but, um, if there was ever a time where panic stations were to be hit, I think that this time right now would be the case for teams like the Titans. Okay, Liam Pritchard says, Cowboys by five, first try scorer, Kyle Felt. Kyle Felt's gonna go over, bro. Well, you know what? I'm going to listen to you there. I'm going to say Kyle Felt scores as well, okay? For Kyle, Kyle Felt for the Cowboys Legends. Get on that. For the Dragons, I'll say... I want to go a little bold, but don't. Okay, well, any time for Dragons, I will go low, Max. And I'll say, you know what? I'll say Dragons score first, and it will be uh, Ben Hunt. Ben Hunt will magically go over in the first 20 minutes, okay? For 20, 15, 10 minutes, actually, we'll say. Ben Hunt will magically go over Legends in a tight one now. But I'm actually expecting a bit of a smashing here. I think that the Cowboys will win, and they will win pretty decently here. But the um, for, but the thing is, right, as much as I think that, you can't predict anything in rugby league. If you think you do, you're being silly. You're being silly if you think you can predict anything. You'd you'd being silly, legends, silly dilly pilly like silly pickles, silly pickles legends. You're being silly pickles right now. Confirmed. Yeah, uh, I was just sorting something out on my phone, legends, but we're good now. Dragons, oh boys, uh, we got about six minutes till it kicks off, so let's get on with the lineups right now, legends. Right now, no dilly dallying. Lineups. We want the lineups. Middle gang guys. We always know how the middle game feels, don't we, compared to the others. Um, first off, for the Dragons, the home team, 12th first third, we have Tyrell Sloan at fullback with Zach Lomax and Michaeli Rabalara on the wings. Jack Bird and Moses Sawuli in the centres. Kyle Flanagan and Ben Hunt in the halves. It's Daddy's Boy and Hunt. Jack DeBellin and Blake Laurie at the props. Jesse Marsh wins the number nine jersey. Obviously, everyone will know Marsh from when he played 
number nine for the North Sydney Bears for the last few years in the New South Wales Cup. Luciano Leilua and Raymond Faitala Mariner in the second row with Ben Murdoch Masilla but grabbing that um, lock position legends as as we look to the interchange with Tom Eisenhoof, Connor Molson, Michael Mola and Viliami for Fita reside. The 18th man today is Christian Tuapalotu. Tuapalotu could not quite find his way into the team. As for the Cowboys, the team that expects big things from this and probably should smash it, but only think it's possible in rugby league, is Scott Drinkwater at fullback with Kyle Felt, who we were just talking about earlier with Liam, and Murray Talangi and the wings. Tom Chester is a late change into the side, replacing Zach Labor. We don't know why Zach Labor's out yet, with Valentine Holmes in the centres. In the halves, we have Tom Dearden and Chad Townsend, with the props being Jordan McLean and Jason Tamalolo. Reese Robson is at nine, with Jeremiah Nanai and Kulakafu Finafuaki as the second row. What a name. With the lock being Ruben Cotter. Love me some Cotter. Interchanges, Jake Granville, Griffin Neem, Sam McIntyre, and Jack Gosowski. So, pretty decent there. Thomas McKayley's 18th man. I like to look at the Cowboys side much more than the Dragons, but, you know, Dragons did have a good start versus the Titans, but when other Titans have started, it's questionable how much of that was Dragons and not just Titans. Um, Just one of those games, right? Just one of those games, days, legends. The Cowboys, they've started with some absolutely incredible results. Actually, if I go into the um, Cowboys thing here, yeah, they've started well, you know, 21 to 20 against the Knights. They didn't play amazing versus the Knights, but the Knights essentially gave them the win with how poor they played. And they smashed the Dolphins 43 to 18. So shout out to the Cowboys. They're doing well. Can If the Dolphins can smash the Dragons, you know, maybe the Cowboys smash the Dragons, right? Because the Cowboys smash the Dolphins, but that's not always how it works in rugby league. Like, I'm trying to think logically, but so tough. At CR Sports says Cowboys 1-24-12. to 24 to 12. Okay, mate. Okay, so you're saying it's a 1-12 to 12 win. All right. I see where you're at. 24-12. Okay, legend. Let's go. Well, so far, I've got the perfect tipping week. So if it keeps going this trajectory, Sharkies and Cowboys should win the next two games. But that's not exactly how it tends to go. <laughs> you know, um, don't trust my tips as backs, legends. They tend to mess me up a lot. Currently in the sheds, the North Queensland Cowboys here enjoying their life, thinking, man, how do we kill this? How do we just run it out of the park and destroy them? Cowboys with the W, says Mel. Cowboys with the W, man? Ah, uh, look, man. I think everybody's tipping the Cowboys for the W. Can somebody go for the Dragons? Somebody! Somebody take the L and go for the Dragons. You'll go for the Dragons. Great. Great, great, great. SR can be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> You're going Dragons 1-12. to 12. Well, then we're all going to look like fools, aren't we, So, I went to school with number 11 for the Cowboys. Did ya? Did ya as a Storm fan? Good for you, man. That's awesome, bro. You know, hopefully um, he does well then, right? Hopefully he does well if he went to your school, legend. As the Storm fan says, I'm 4 out of 4. I'm 4 out of 4 as well. Guys, let me know your tips. How are your tips going this week? Uh, my tips are going pretty decent myself, but I'd love to hear how your guys is going. The Cowboys running out onto the field, legend, in just a second. They're coming through the sheds. Tom Chester, a player that I've always been impressed by when he's played. Very young. Hopefully, he can do it for the Cowboys today. Tom Dearden. Mate, he has to stop for a sec because the whole team was clearly much slower than him for some reason. Coming through the tunnel again. We're going to redo this, retake this. Go, Dearden. The North Queensland Cowboys, ladies and gentlemen, you can admit last year was a real disappointment. They went from the finals, where they were just one win off making the grand final, to completely missing it. Maybe not as bad as Para, <coughs> and their drop-off where they clearly missed the finals, but it wasn't a great, a great time. Cowboys to bounce back this year. I think many saw it potentially coming. Not everyone tipped it, but I did. I went for Cowboys in the eight, I'm pretty sure. And um, here they come. I'm pretty sure I put them in eighth, which is probably going to be wrong, and they're probably going to finish higher, but that doesn't matter. Dragons are out two here. Big game underway in a moment, legends. North Sydney. <laughs> I love that there's some North Sydney there because Jesse Marsh is, like, iconic for the New South Wales Cup for Norths. So there's, like, some North support there. <laughs> love it. 
Love it, mate. Showing the support there. Mate, we back them. We back them. We back the best. <laughs> here we come, legends. Kickoff inevitable here at the stadium. Uh, Tyler, I got three out of four. Oh, which game did you get wrong, Liam? Jason, uh, CR Sports. What did you guys get wrong? Which game was it? Bosky says 31 to 18 Cowboys to get the W. 31 18 Cowboys W, mate. Well, we'll find out in just a second how, lo how likely that is. As the Dragons kick off our middle game on Super Saturday. Jason Tamalolo goes down the left right side here. One sec, just, just take him. Huh. Was a little bit light breath for a second. <laughs> Now the Cowboys, guys. Fast pace to start things off here. Brandon Smith there to support Jesse Marsh. I know, mate. Brandon Smith being in the regular crowd is so funny to me. I don't know why. I always find it funny when NRL players show up and they just sit in the regular stands with the with the fans because <laughs> just enjoying themselves. I got the Raiders wrong, says Jason Reader. Oh, man. Well, I was always going to tip the Warriors in that game, but I get why some people... May have gotten it wrong. It was one of those games where maybe they could be proven right. But I just kind of went. It was in New Zealand. The Warriors hadn't won yet. They were due a victory. I couldn't see them going 0-3. And, and with the dropping of Zach Hosking, it just sealed it for me that I had to go with Warriors. And I was proven correct. But I don't blame anyone who stuck with the Raiders in that one. Tyler, I got the Raiders wrong. No, yeah, it's just like everyone got the Raiders one wrong. I personally was always going to tip the Warriors, but, you know, I don't blame anyone who tipped the Raiders. Dragons on fourth tackle here. Blake Laurie, guys. Blake Laurie, mate, beautiful read there from Tom Dearden and the Cowboys defense. Pretty simple moves there. Now little Ben Hunt kicks in the air. In the air? In the air? In the air? Oh, knock on, Cowboys. Scott Drinkwater knocks it on. And the Dragons start off beautifully here. This is exactly what they wanted at their home stadium. The Cowboys are distraught looking at this. It was good pressure from Zach Lomax, who completely threw Tom Dearden off. Mate, as much as Zach Lomax wants to leave and is practically wearing a Parramatta jersey underneath that shirt, he's a brilliant winger compared. Brilliant. Tyler got the right... No games in Queensland this week, says SS Storm fan. No games in Queensland. Well, maybe that's why the Queensland teams are getting tough luck at this point. Yep, yeah, drink water, knock on. Now Moses Suley down the left edge, 10 meters lance. 10 meters lance? What's a lance? A chance. 10 meter chance, guys. 10 meters. Flanagan goes back over to Blake Laurie. They're looking for the big kick and chase, potentially. Not quite. They're just going to run it instead. <coughs> now Jesse Marsh gets to Flanagan. Back to Ben Hunt. Ben Hunt. Now over to Bird. Bird flies to Sloan. And Sloan grounds it on the right bit. The right winger to try. Unless the ref. The ref says no. The ref has denied the chance. The referee. What's he saying? What's she saying? Forward? Forward? Yeah, forward. Jack Bird has passed forward, Legends, and Tyrell Sloan will not get his try. Jack Bird's furious. He's like, it was a try to the ref. It's like, nah, it wasn't a try, mate. Jackie Bird, I'm sorry, mate. You can fly on out of there and try to get one next time. Better luck next time, Mr. Jackie. Yeah, forward. Yeah, forward, Legends. What's good, Tyler? Oh, mate, as much can be good as possible. I mean, like, let's be honest. As much as last stream was fun with the viewers that jumped in, it was... Uh, it was a very boring game. The Titans, they really let themselves down. Um, you know, we're just hoping to have a much better one this time, you know. And, well, with the fact that we got a, we got three streams, guys. We got this one and then we got one after. It's it's a long day. And then tomorrow I'm vlogging and it's my team and all the pressure and I'm, like, my least favorite team, Manly. It's it's a lot. It, it's, today and tomorrow are going to be long. But the point is, is that I'm, I'm loving every second of it bringing content to the Legends. Like, I think that that's how I say it. That's what's good, man. Being able to bring content and show exactly how much I love my team to this wider audience. Now, Reese Robson to Jason Tamalolo. I heard a few people talking about the fact that Reese Robson's origin smokey for New South Wales. Well, he's already played for them. And, uh, you know, if he came off the bench, he would be a bit of a good smokey, wouldn't he? Reese Robson off the bench, Legends, really. 
You don't know what a smoky is. A smoky is like a a player where it's um. Oh, how do I describe it? It's just something we say for for a player where it's um. You know, not many people may be talking about it, but they're a shout. Yeah, it's a smoky. They're a smoky. There's a smoky chance. Anyways, without explaining smoky, we have a try for the Cowboys. Murray to Luggy, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know because I was explaining what a smoky was. Murray to Luggy scores for the Cowboys. His pants may have not survived, but he did. He went over. His shorts were lost in the battle, but he still managed to score for the Cowboys. What a try. Zach Lomax Legends getting himself a pair of shorts, even though he couldn't stop the try. Brilliant. Down the left edge. The s mate, mate, enough about Spokies. Brilliance. What did I say to Luggy? Mate, you said it, bro. You said it. You said it, SS Storm fan. You're right. You called it, bro. You always call it. You always call it Murray to Luggy. Murray to Luggy. You're not Murray to Luggy. SS Storm fan, you always call it. Murray to Luggy scores, and the Cowboys are 4-0 up. That is his 40th career try, and his second against the Dragons. Drink water with a beautiful bullet pass. Luggy just had to finish it. I still don't get how you don't know what a Smokey is. Yeah, but so many Gen Xers know. Do you not know what a pod is either? Oh, my God. Sorry. Sorry, that's just crazy to me. Because that's like super coach talk and stuff. All right, Valentine Holmes he uh, Legends. I'm the master predicted that. You are SS Storm fam. Dragons really should have scored before. They should have, but Jack Bird, while he tried to sell it, he didn't execute it, and that's why they haven't scored yet, man. Speaking of scoring, they don't score that kick. It remains 4-0, Legends. So if they can just bag themselves a try, they're all square here. The Dragons, there's no need to panic at this point in time. Yeah, no, I believe you. I believe you as the Storm fan. I believe you, Legend, okay? You've got, you've got yourself a believer. I'm a believer. Down, down, down. <laughs> Murray to Luggy, guys, with the special handshake with Chad Townsend celebrating. Harvey Norman in the bottom sponsoring, bro. Forget about Harvey Norman, man. You got TJC. Get me sponsored. Chad Townsend. Gets the McLean with a clean, clean finish to that tackle. Jeez. Reese Robson now, short. Gets it back over to Jason. Down Malolo. Down Malolo. Arm out, smack down. I remember there was a lot of talk about the fact that Tom Alolo only played, what was it, like 20 minutes, 15 minutes against um, against the previous team. I think it was Dolphins or something. And look, yeah, it's not great that Tom Alolo didn't get the minutes that he wanted, but I'm pretty sure they said there was also a genetic reason why it is knee or something, why they're now not playing him as much. It's just The only issue with it is how much Tom Alolo's on with it, really. But, that, I digress, that's for a later point to discuss, is the Cowboys kick high here! Cowboys! For the line! And, Michaeli Ramalawa, the power led by Casimo, saves the day. Now the Dragons down the left edge here. They're, they're moving fast, but not fast enough here. The Cowboys holding them down to their zone. They can't, they can't get up quick enough to keep up with them. Could not keep up fast enough to keep up with them keeping up. Rabalawa looking stressed. DeBellin dummies. Jack DeBellin thinking he's a 5'8 there, the little prop there. Marshk. Winning the favoured number 9 position over the likes of Jacob Little and all that. Very interesting considering Jacob Little wasn't too bad in the 9 position last year when he played there compared to a lot of his team. But shit credits to him, you know, he's found his way there. It may have been a little competitive. Uh, I mean, probably not as competitive as, like, uh, the Dogs or the um, Panthers or something, but still competitive, and he's done, a, he's done a good job to win himself there, and hopefully he can keep it up for him. 
But all the praise should be on the Cowboys right now for managing to find that 4-0 lead as they get themselves over the halfway line here. Is anybody shocked that our Valentine, Valentine Holmes, manages to find his way over? Jason Tamalolo, the big lad, being allowed to run over about 10 metres. That's ridiculous for him. Now Chad Townsend. Over. Jeremiah Nadai. Low kick. Are the chasers on side? It won't matter if Sloan collects. Tyrell Sloan now. Why can nobody tackle him? He's, he's got the longest legs I've ever seen. Catch him. There we go. Now over to Zach Lomax. We all know Lomax wants to be Parabata, but he's stuck at the drags for now. Okay, now backwards over to Raymond Fatala Mariner, his former team that I believe he captained at one point. The Doggies won for the first, well, won for the first time, not only this season, but their first time at um, Belmore to keep a team to nil in what must be like over a decade. Crazy stuff. And, hey, speaking of crazy stuff, we've just gotten a penalty here. The Dragons, guys. Cowboys doing the illegal strip. I don't know. It feels like he may have just lost that. But the Dragons aren't going to see a challenge come from the Cowboys. Now, Jack Bird. <coughs> Jack Bird. Down the right wing. Gets held. Now, Ben Hunt. Dummies back. Blake Laurie in support. Blake Laurie flying through. The Cowboys holding him back. Carl Flanagan. To Jack DeBellin. Back to Sloan. Tyrell Sloan on the left wing. Could he find the pace? And he's... Chad Townsend reads it too well. Chatty, bro. <coughs> Ivan says, up the, up the storm. Very wrong game to be up the storm, man. Wrong game, Ivan. You know it's the wrong game, man. You know it is. Carl Flanagan. Back to Ben murdoch Masilla. I'm still shocked Ben murdoch Masilla is in the lock spot. But um, he's there, alright? So good for him. Good for him, Mr. Ben murdoch Basilla. Hunt to Bird. You can't write this. Zach Lomax scores. Zach Lomax scores. He may be unhappy in the weak position, but he's absolutely killing it there. For all. Lomax putting on a show to the max. Zach Lomax, bro, he got the wrong name. It's Showmax, mate. Absolutely incredible. Lomax, the future heel. <laughs> I love that everybody's just gone, yeah, he's a future heel, even though that's not confirmed. Bruce just could throw money at him, bro. But uh, it's just, it makes sense. We're dropping, we're getting rid of players, releasing them. He's openly wanting to join, you know. It just makes so much sense that we're targeting him. But we'll have to wait and see with that one. But right now... He's a Dragons player, scoring an incredible try under the Nestrata Jubilee Stadium lights. The number two, scoring the number two try of the game. The second one, mate. It was written in the stars from the day he was given the number. He'd score in this game, the second try. Six games against the Cowboys in his career. Three tries, that means about a 50% rate. Pretty decent. He's also a very good kicker, Zach Lomax, guys. So don't put that past him either. Bro's kicked over half his goals in his career. He's, honestly, I'd hate to say it, but I think he's a much better kicker than Guffo. <laughs> but the king's the king and he'll never be replaced, you know? He'll never be replaced. Lomax hits it and it's a goal. 6-4. The Dragons have the lead. Lomax, ladies and gentlemen. Zach Lomax shifting the tide, the weather, the game, the world, the fan base, everybody in favour of him. And the Dragons, Lomax, watermelon says Ivan. Lomax, the crowd, the chat, everyone's going mad for him. The first last game. Yes, SS Storm fan. You did say Wilson first, but he didn't get it in the end, did he, bro, unfortunately? You're usually correct with your tips, man. I'll, that's what I mean, SS Storm fan. Last time they did it was in 19... Yeah, that's what we... Oh, my God. Isn't that crazy, guys? The team that they did it against as well. The last time the Dogs kept a team to nil at Belmore was in 1996 oh, no. against the Illawarra Steelers. Not even in the comp anymore, <laughs> you know? And I don't want this technicality on. It's the Dragons. There's not Steelers in there. 
It's Illawarra and that's it, right? It's not Steelers. Yeah, bro. This ain't no Steelers, this Dragons team. Nah, never in a million years. Except currently the chat's saying Lomax, but different kinds of fruit after. I see watermelon, pineapple, tomato, I, uh, banana. I don't know what this is about, but good for you, legends. <laughs> Whatever you want to get on about, go ahead. Free country, eh? Mate, nah, I tipped Cowboys. I tipped Cowboys, but Dragons, bro, they're going crazy. They're going crazy. Like, I'm not even complaining about my tips. At the end of the day, I just tip who I think's going to win, not who I want to win. If I tip who I want, well, except for Para, but like, you know, if I think Para will not win, I'll back them, but I will be open about the fact that it's my team, you know? It's, like, I'll be honest. Now, Jesse Marsh, Ben Murdoch Basilla, fourth tackle now, ring the phone, Para, come on, Parramatta, get Lomax up, get Lomax up, Bro's individually taken out the Cowboys. Now, the right, the Dragons, how is it 6-4, to four, though, when you think of how much the Dolphins smashed by? I know it's early days, but geez, is it surprising to see. I expected a lot Lots, lots more from Cowboys. Oh, Kyle Felt almost knocks the ball on. Almost a poor one from Felty, guys. Felty almost with the error. Felty felt that hit. Now, Valentine Holmes held down. Mate, Valentine, you got to do bro more, bro. Tom Chester, the late addition, pushing himself in there. What an affliction. Now, Jason Tamalolo. Tamalolo! Tomalolo hit there. Now, Scott Drinkwater taking the kick. And Zach Lomax, bro, is never going to miss it. Because, mate, when you know you're going to be joining. Too much, man. Oh, what, bro? I don't consider it spam, uh, Lockie. I don't consider it spam. I consider it passion, bro. He's back. He's passionate around his team. He's saying it a lot, bro. For me, spam is when they say the same when they say the same sentence with no change over and over. I get that it's somewhat repeating itself, but I don't consider it a big deal. As a storm fan and all that are fine enough mods. Um, they just yeah, they pick when it's actually an issue. You know, and oh Ben Hunt is away! And now he passes to Sloan on the right! And now the dragon score again! What the heck? Tyrell Sloan! 10-4! The Dragons! The Dragons, Legends! The Dragons! There they go! Oh, the Dragons, the Dragons, the Dragons! The Dragons, the Dragons! The dragons, they just can't be stopped. They just can't be stopped. Ben Hunt to Sloan, you can't put that. You can't write that. Oh, mate, flying over. Might as well have been a fun in the wind. That was insane. Sloan, guys. Tyrell Sloan goes alone and scores a beautiful try. Ben Hunt, guys, starting it all off. Brilliant at 10-4 now. Now, let's go Bulldogs, says... Mate, let's go Bulldogs, says, yes, the Bulldogs, the game was so good to go to. I'm sure it was if you were a doggy supporter. Congratulations, let's go Bulldogs. Gold Coast, oh, they're not going to be happy, but doggies... Be excited. That was a very special win for you guys. Hunt, Hunt is cutting the Cowboys up. Mate, Hunt, Lomax, Tyler Sloan, it's the backs. It's the backs. The backs are carving up the Cowboys. And because the forwards aren't doing a bad job either, the, t the Cowboys don't know what to say. Mate, they, don't, they would not know what to say. Good on you, Sloan. Yes, Lachlan Hampton. Good on you, Sloan, mate. Legendary moves, moves there. Good on you, bro. Getting it up. Uh. 
get it up there. Getting it up there, man. Getting it done. Stush, dad. Jack DeBellard, ladies and gentlemen. Betty Hunt. Mate, Ben Hunt, when he gets that pass there, nobody was catching him. And then the offload to slide. Pew! Just... You could, you just, you could just, like, watch it for hours how amazing it was. Just kiss that premiership ring, Dragons. That's how you're going right now. The Cowboys, guys, they don't have a response. 12-4 to because they got the kick. If Dragons keep this up, I swear, like, I, yeah, we predict smashings, but imagine the Dragons ruin everyone's tipping week. Ex like, imagine. They ruin pretty much everyone's tipping week. Zach Lomax. Yeah. Search for mods on others. We enjoy ourselves, bro. We enjoy ourselves. We enjoy ourselves, man. Yeah, exactly. I feel like what people have to understand, right, at the end of the day, is that, um, while, yes, you know, some of my chat gets a little excited and will be like, uh, go, there t go the team they're supporting a few times, but, like, overall, you know... I think throughout my life, I've just seen there's bigger issues at hand than um, somebody saying the same thing a couple more times than they should. Like, bigger issues in chats, you know? So, like, really, it's it's pick your issues for me, why I don't really mind. Plus, SS Stormfed, if there actually was an insult, would get rid of them. Uh, Jetson says, brah, I need Cowboys to win. Well then, man, you better start praying. You better start praying, because the Dragons... They're not doing it. They're not doing it, bro. They're not letting them down. Luciano Le Lua came out for blood against his former side. McLean. This should be McLean's last year for the Cowboys, to be honest. Um, pretty sure he's only got this year. Cotter. Back over to Jack Goweski or whatever. Jack Goweski now. Down. Down the 40 meter line. Final one. They've gained 45 meters in this five tackle set. Not too bad. Now with the kick. All the way down, Ramalawa collects, and now he's going to go and run as quick as he can down the middle. Run, man, run as fast as you can. They can't catch you. Mel says, Cowboys, I come back, mate. Cowboys coming back. Mel, well, if there's a team that can do it, it is the Cowboys. The Dragons, though, they've got all the momentum on their side here. And, oh, look at that. They've just won a penalty. Of course, mate. Oh, my God, are you joking? All right, well, there you have it. Dragons win another penalty. Oh, the, t the Cowboys, the Cowboys, they've, they've learned nothing from last year. <laughs> Overly I'm annoyed with those fruits. Yeah, mate, Ivan, 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 just, Ivan, chill it a little for the newbies. Chill it for the newbies, Ivan. Chill it, bro. Chill it, put it back a le put it back a step, legend. Whoosh, you know, click, click, move back. Now Raymond Vitala Marina. I swear the Dragons might score on this set. They might. Now it's Marsh to Hunt. Ben to Hunt to Flanagan. Flanagan short to Luciano Le Lua. Luciano Le Lua, the former cowboy. If he scores against them, bro. There was a time where Luci when Le Lua was at the Tigers. Man, he was my go-to on, like, Fantasy and Supercoach. I remember! Kyle Flanagan! What a dummy! What a try! Again! The Dragons will not be kept quiet! Kyle Flanagan making his father proud! The Dragons! Doggy fans going, why didn't you do that for us? Flano! Flano pans out his surroundings. And decides, I'm just going to bump down the middle. Talmalilo could not read him. And now Flanagan makes it 16-4. to 4. Kyle Flanagan, ladies and gents, with the beautiful try. Shoot, says Mel. Oh, shoot, 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 indeed. This is a letdown. This is a letdown. What are the Cowboys doing? I know that they're away, but this is not good enough. It's not good enough from a side that's expected to be this much better. And that's what I mean by unexpected results are what I'm expecting in this season. Oh, my team is a joke, dog. <laughs> uh, well, they're a joke right now, man. But, you know, there's still time in this game, technically. But, mate, the, what are the freaking... What are they doing, Dragons? 
Five games, three tries against Cowboys. I guess Flanagan just doesn't like the Cowboys, how he scores against them. The first half reminds me of Tigers Cowboys at Leichhardt last year. What happened last year with that man? Time remaining? Still 19 minutes in the first half, Ivan. Ever seen 2021 round 24? <laughs> oh, man. Dragons are truly on tonight, mate. They're more than on, mate. They're legendary tonight. And Zach Lomax makes it 18-4. Why? <laughs> This I was doing so well with my tips, and then this one just threw me for a loop. But then again, I think it's thrown a lot for a loop. Most will probably say that they got this one wrong, except for maybe Dragon supporters who may have tipped their team for the sake of tipping their team. Flanagan, though. Mate, that was Louis-esque. Cleary, freaking uh, Cleary-esque. Uh, Dylan Brown-esque. That was amazing. Monster-esque, actually. Carl Flanagan, Legends. What a try. And now, if, if the Dragons score again, I'm ready already to be done with them. Jeez. 19 minutes. 19 minutes, you know. Um, in the first half still left. Oh, Cowboys fans. Cowboys fans are going to be fuming about this. I can hear the screams already from Cowboys. And the Dragons win a penalty. Cowboy fans, look away. The Dragons get their penalty. Ben Hunt now to take. Holding down. You're, you're just kidding me. At this point, what are you doing? Three penalties to the Dragons, one to Cowboys. Jesson, on the year they had the BBQ incident, bro, the year. Guaranteed coach is going to make Cowboys win. Mate, the coach is going to get them the win, man? How? The coach is just going to get them when he's going to be like, all right, all right, Cowboys. Right, Cowboys, get back together, figure it out, blah, 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 and they come back from 18-4. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know about that, but uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Ben Hunt, back to Jackie Bird. Tom Dean and holding him down would help Jack Osueski. Uh Brian Chester needs to get sold to Tigers, though. But I don't mind Chester as a player, but I don't think Set is his spot. I think, if anything, he's a fullback, bro, and that's just, that's just the end of it for me with Chester. Flat again. Back! Over to Eisenhoof! Matt Eisenhoof! If Eisenhoof scored, I would just be done. <laughs> Hunt! Kicks low! Raymond Vitala! Oh! Raymond Vitala Mariner should have scored there. But then Cowboys should be feeling lucky that he messed that up. Knock on there. And now they get their chance. Cowboys 38 to 26. That game was Jetson, bro. Forget I mean, the, forget about Cowboys wins right now. They're going to need to bounce back a lot more if they want the chance of that. This is nowhere near what you want to see from them. This is a joke. Joke. Well, yeah, all be revealed in this, in his vlog. I'm like, bro, all will be revealed in the vlog about how I feel about this game. 18 to 4. Well, Cowboys are so bad getting puffed by the Dragons. Well, look, I... I actually backed the Cowboys as a team um, up until, you know, like, I feel like let's not react too hard. It's one game, but also it's only the first half, okay? And the Cowboys win a penalty. Penalty, guys. High shot. Chad Townsend ben feeling his face. They've got to go for the try for the comeback. They had the lead. Remember that, Legends? It was 4-0, and then the Dragons just went pumping and running. And on report goes Jesse Marsh for the Dragons. Jacob Little might just get his spot back. Yeah, if, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely a tap to the face. Definitely, no doubts. Makes perfect sense. Okay, legends. Okay, there you have it. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you keep running. You just never want to give them a break, do you? Finally, we get something, says Jetson. Finally! Finally, Jetson gets something for his team! Finally! Finally! It, it happened! You got something! I swear the ref hates the Cowboys. Mate, to be fair, though, I, I actually think that that was a high shot. I do think that was a high shot, bro. He tapped him on the face. You have to, you have to be fair with the rules. Like, penalties aren't just handed out a lot of the time. A lot of the time, there actually is reason for them. Chad Townsend to Scott Drinkwater. Scott Drinkwater now. Scott Drinkwater gets it back over here. 
had held out based on this, even with our outs, we should still be able to beat the Cowboys next week because Cowboys are looking. Yeah, mate, you should beat the Cowboys next week. I will tip the Broncos against the Cowboys, but you also got to remember, technically it's a Queensland rivalry, so form could go out the window, but not just that. Also, the Cowboys have looked good until this game. Maybe, just maybe, it's just one of those seasons where, at least for the first half, a couple of unexpected teams are going to win. Now, Reese Robson. Go short, and oh, it's got to be a try for the Cowboys. It is. It is. The Cowboys score right between the posts. Isn't that brilliant, Legends? Isn't that exactly what you wanted to see in this game? The number 16, his name is Sam McIntyre, the former Tiger. You want to hear it? The former Tiger, the former Titan. Hear his name, yell it out. Sam McIntyre is over, and there ends their try scoring drought. 18 to 8. 18 to 8. Do, do, do. 18 to 8. Is the comeback on, Legends? Or will the Dragons be able to hold it? So many variables, so many questions to be made in this one. Time, reserve some energy for Parramatta tomorrow. Bro, there will be plenty of energy for Parramatta tomorrow. I'm just hyped for the um, games in general. I'm always going to be hyped for the games, and I'm always going to be commentating and excited about them. Um, Parramatta will get all of it, though. Parra get 100%. The, these games get like 80. Parra get 100. <laughs> That's the difference. Let's go. We needed that, says Jensen. Mate, you damn did. You absolutely did, mate. You didn't just need that, bro. That was crucial. That was crucial before the end of this half. 14 minutes to go now. If you can bag another, truly game on. Truly game on if you can bag the next one as well. Uh, what's this? Wilson for Haas and Reynolds be back at home. Exactly, legend. Broncos 1-12. to That's what I'm going with, King Julian. And it seems like that's what you're going to be going with too, man. Goal. And there you have it. Only an eight-point difference now. It truly is. Game on! Game on, baby! Goal! Oh! Game on. 10-18. Now they're going to live to be ha thankful Kyle Flanagan scored that brilliant, um, brilliant dummy try. 18 to 10. Zach Lomax to kick us off again here. Uh, I remember Valentine Holmes missed the goal against Knights to put their team in the lead, but the reason if he scored the conversion, Knights would score. Yeah. Yeah, that's what. Wait, is that really what it was, Legend? Sheesh. Sheesh. Okay, well, I guess that kind of makes sense, but like, yeah. I mean, I don't know if that would have happened there, but we'll see, okay? Um, I guess that's kind of smart, thinking long-term, but he should have just gone for the goal, in my opinion. Um, and most likely we'll have Reynolds yet. Uh, give us a free up, Dragons fans. Come on. Fire up, Dragons fans. Come on. Wait, nah, I, I can do it better. I can do it better. Fire up, Dragons fans. Come on. Much better, much better. <laughs> Mate, should be an announcer. 35 metres. Now the Cowboys. Reese Robson, Chad Townsend, taking it. And makes it about 30-ish 30, 30 metres there before it ends up in the hands of Zach Lomax. Zach Lomax now looking to crawl his way through here. If he doesn't get that little hug from Fuduaki or whatever, um, he's away, actually. Now, first tackle. He's going to the ref, going, am I placing it right? Am I placing it right, sir? Nah. Lucky, why are you streaming? Why are you streaming, Lucky? <laughs> King Julian 96 says, and Sailor, and Sailor for Walsh, I think he is a really good replacement because whenever Sailor is, has uh, filled up in for Walsh, he's done a good job. Yeah, look, I think Sailor will do it for um, them, but um, Walsh is still going to be a noticeable, um, you know, missing player. Now, Dragons, guys, Tyrell Sloan. Held down. If you're enjoying the stream so far, make sure you hit the like and sub, bros. I'm streaming the Paragame game tomorrow. Yeah, he's streaming the Paragame. game. Go over and check him out when I'm um, obviously having to blog that. Okay, Legends? So jump over to Lockie the Queensland Para fam uh, tomorrow when you can't watch my stream. Now, for, oh, brutal kick. And Lomax collects. Whoa, he passes back. He has no care who's there. Now Eisenhoof knocks the ball on. So... Well, that was just a mess, wasn't it? <laughs> Eisenhoof refusing to let go of the ball, mate. You gotta. 
You gotta let go, bro. I can't watch the game, but is he a rip actual shit or not? Well, he's he's made a poor decision or two, but to me, in my own opinion, Legend, I don't think he's been that bad. It was a high shot earlier, and it was a deserving penalty for the Cowboys. You know, I feel like it hasn't actually been that poor, in my honest opinion. Yeah, in attack, but personally, I think Sal is better defensive fullback. No, I agree with you there, Legend. I just think in attack, they're really going to miss Walsh. So they're going to hope that they can keep out Cowboys with Sal. Oh, that's what their goal should be, to keep the Cowboys out with him rather than the 13-plus uh, leads that they usually always try to go for. They've got to try something a little bit different because of the players that they've lost. Now, Tom Dearden kicks it high here. If the, if the, if the Cowboys can score here! And, oh! Flanagan tackled in the end goal. Carl Flanagan. <laughs> Mate, Flanagan, he's found his home, hasn't he? Found his home with the Dragons. Mate, under his barber, he's doing good. Oh, he was very close to being tackled in the air, but I don't think he was. Dearden's pointing at his brain, but like a big brain moves, bro. Big brain moves. Drop out now. Ben Hunt, are they going to go short or are they going to go long, guys? Will they go long or short? Okay, now over to the far. It's under 10 metres and it bounces out of play. You're kidding me. Under 10 metres, Legends. The Dragons are pointing at the Cowboys. The Lightsman's going, nah, mate, I didn't see it. And now the Cowboys should get the ball here because it was short, right? That was under 10 metres, the kick. Yeah, and now the Cowboys can get a full set from right in front of the 10 metres. Chatty Daddy, go! Gets it over. Now, now. Hell down. Robson. Robbie, Robbie, Robson. Robbie! Gets it over the Diddy! Diddy! Diddy, Diddy, me! Diddy! No, for the flag. Ah. A lot of questions about his contract. Um, I wonder if he'll re sign with the Cow. I wonder if he'll re sign with the Cowboys or if he has signed with the Cowboys and will be going elsewhere. No clue with that one for him. Now, Robson. To Townsend. And oh, if only he caught that and wasn't stopped by the Dragons, he would have had a shot. Uh, Jensen says Cowboys have a chance. Damn right they have a chance, man. Damn right they have a chance. Only eight point difference. Eight minutes to go in the first half alone. They've got they've got more than a chance. They've got a massive opportunity. Don't stress it out, man. Oh, wait. Captain's charging from the Cowboys. Are they arguing like a tackle off the ball or something? That's what I was curious about looking at it live, but I didn't really want to think much about it because nobody said anything. Yeah, tackled without the ball, Ben Hunt. Ben Hunt initiates tackling before the ball. If Cowboys score, it's, the, it's on the comeback, bro. The comeback's on if Cowboys score soon, bro. Wait, yeah, challenge successful. Ben Hunt, guys. Ben Hunt, he tackled him without the ball. Now the Cowboys get another bit from right in front. They could go for the two and only have a six-point difference, but, you know, I think the try is the main way to go right now. Yep, it is successful, Legend. Don't stress yourself. It's successful, bro. <laughs> yes, says Jetson. We still got another strike in our team to score line, mate, so I think Broncos should rock up in pure defensive mindset next week. Yes, King Julian. It should be pure. It, it should be defensive, bro. It should be defensive. Um, attack is there, and I definitely think there will be some attack to it. But defense is the biggest factor. Reese Robson tried something special, just running down, but it didn't work out. The defensive mindset next week. Still have a bit of attack, but defensive mindset. Try to only keep it under like 18 points or something. Um, if I were the Cowboys heading into that, I mean the Broncos heading into that Cowboys game, Cowboys will be looking to go at you. Oh, short pass to Ruben Connor. And Ruben Connor just stopped there by Sloan. Now short, and oh, here we have it, the number 15, I think he got it, they kicked it, and they chased it, he surely scored that, Michael, Mo not Michael Molo, uh, the Cowboy, it's the Cowboy, Griffin Neem, Griffin Neem, ladies and gentlemen, he's saying he got it to the players, he's selling it, but did he ground it? Never trust a forward is what they say. What they said when a captain's challenge was introduced. Oh, I think Sloan might ground that first. Never trust a forward, legends. Never trust a forward. It's a number one rule in this game. 
Oh, it depends if he bounces that or not. I'm pretty sure Slow grounds that, to be honest. I'm pretty sure Slow grounds that before. But we'll see here. Oh, no. I think he knocks it on. I think he knocks it on and Neem gets it. I think Neem's got a try. I think Griffin Neem might have a try here from that angle. Nah. Oh. Oh, my God. Is Reese ruled out? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Reese Robson, I'm pretty sure he's there, bro. Pretty sure he is there. Yes, he is. Reese Robson is there. I'm right. Yeah. Robson's there. And it's a try. It didn't go up as wide, but it's been given. The Cowboys are back. 14-18. It should only be a two-point difference in a second. The Cowboys, ladies and gentlemen, are back. 18, 14, yee-haw, da 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 da, -da. Yee-haw, ladies and gentlemen, how brilliant is that? Oh, hey. Beautiful. All right, cows could be in this right now. They could be, man. They could be in it. So they could be running with it. They could be sprinting towards the finish line, mate. Hello, we survive. By the way, how did Taylor May not get suspended for that dirty shot on Walsh? To be fair, legend, more head than shoulder. The shoulder kind of scrapes at the end. I feel like there is no evidence to suggest that it was deliberate, even though, you know, it was a dirty, it felt like a dirty play at the same time. that it, it had to be, um, they couldn't on any NRL ruling, um, give it as a um, suspension. If they're not going to suspend Luai, King Julian, they weren't going to suspend Taylor May for that. That's how I stand. They should. They would have suspended Luai if they were going to suspend Taylor. So 18 to 16 now after the kick. Cowboys legends finally switching on. Dragons relieves that Lomax knows how to kick because otherwise they would be very much behind now. Brilliant. Now Neem catches and charging forward now. Griffin Neem for the line. Held off. Now Reese Robson with the short one over to Ruben Cotter. Ruben Cotter with the sprint. 18-16. That it is, Ivan. The comeback is on. The comeback is on, Jetson. It's happening. Get hyped. Get hyped, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, get hyped. Now Tom Chester with the little crawl there. 40 metres. Reese Robson. Over to McIntyre. Sam McIntyre wanting to get the job done here. Yo, yo, NRL Antonin man. How you doing, man? Six minutes to play. Six minutes to play. Six minutes to play. Can the Cowboys take the lead before halftime? Could you imagine the shift in tides if Cowboys managed to take the lead before halftime after all this? Nanai with the low kick. And now Jeremiah Nanai pulls them into the goal line for a dig. For a goal line drop out. The referee doing okay. I don't think the referee's done that badly, Legends. Like you gotta remember the um You got you gotta remember that the um that the bunk uh, is there too. The referee's only meant to say what they saw from their perspective. The bunk is the one that can step in and go, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> okay, legends, the dragons. Taking a goal line drop out. They don't take the risk this time. That is over the halfway line. What a goal line drop out. And now Gilbert, not Gilbert, um, the Griffin Neem takes the hits and charges forward now with courageous effort. Tom Dearden, back to Holmes. They don't want to give in. They don't want to give up. Holmes trying to shove everybody off him. But Jesse Marsh reading him too well with help from Molo. Connor now. Ruben Cotter just taking the body. Wants to do a few hit-ups, clearly, Mr. Ruben Cotter. Yep, we're nearly at half-time, man, and it's going to be a fun one. Just chilling. Half-time, mate. The literal middle of Super Saturday is what half-time will be. The literal middle. middle. And wait, we got a challenge from the, from the uh, Dragons, I want to say here. I want to say a challenge from the Dragons. No, it's the Cowboys. All right, Legends. Cowboys. North Queensland Cowboys making a captain's challenge here. Let's take a look. Oh. Oh. Oh, it is. 
It is danger for me. For me, the tackle's not great. For me, the tackle's not great. But does the ball ever leave his hand? I don't know if it does. I don't know if the ball ever. Uh. All right, challenge is unsuccessful. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. All right, that one I am questioning a little, but it's okay. Final score: twenty-two thirty-four. Cowboys win. Says Jetson. You can hope, bro. You can hope that's what happens in this one, legend. That that's how the how the game finishes off, ends perfectly for you. Ben Hunt now feeding in the scrub. Marsh gets it over to Blake Laurie. Blake Laurie now. Blake Laurie arms up, burst of speed, fending everybody off. Now back over to Michaeli Ravalawa. Michaeli Ravalawa squeezing through here very tightly. Then Tom Eisenhoof getting the ball. Eisenhoof, guys, a player that, you know, he was on Storm's interchange. He's pretty decent, but um, you wouldn't call him any more than a um, player that comes in, does about 20 minutes max, and just si simple stuff, does the job, doesn't really score or do much else. He's just part of the team, you know? Like, because you got to remember, every part of that squad for depth is important. It's just some are way more important than others as players in the top 30. And oh, what a kick there. And Scott Drinkwater manages to catch it anyways. Scott Drinkwater, he'll feel responsible for the first try the Dragon scored after his knock on. But um, he doesn't need to stress too much because now the Cowboys have finally found that momentum he was waiting for in this game. Now, down the middle, Murray Tulungi, guys. Murray Tulungi with the run here. Murray refuses to give up. Sturry Murray. He is just the best, bro. He's the best around. Nothing's going to stop him now. He's the best. Bro, let's go. Sheesh. Sheesh. Sheesh, 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 sheesh. Now, currently, they're losing by two, drag um, the Cowboys, but that could change at any moment. Two and a half minutes to go. It could even change before the end of this half. Ruben Cotter. Ruben Connor looking to do a little bit of a special little move there over the right bit, bit but um, Carl Flanagan reads him too well. Robson. Chatty. Chatty hits high there. Chatty hits high. Bounce back. Scott Drinkwater for the Cowboys. The Cowboys have somehow reclaimed their lead. From 4-0 up to 18-4 to now 20-18. to This game is a back and forth emotional roller coaster. Dragons and Cowboys, no response available from either fan base. 20 to 18, the Cows do not want to give up. The Cowboys will come out until the end. Two minutes to go. I was just saying how they could change it before halftime, and there you have it. Scott Drinkwater, ladies and gentlemen. The comeback. Comeback season. Coming home, it's coming home, it's coming home, football is coming home. Cowboys first half comeback, the first half comeback legends, madness, bow to our saviors, legends, how incredible is that? Oh, brilliant, spectacular. The magic, you can see it flowing through the air. The air, listen, look into the skies and you can see it. Oh. Now, for the kick to extend this wonderful comeback lead. Dragons, do not fear. It'll only be a four-point difference max, though, okay? Dragons fans, still back your side for a shot. But Cowboys, get excited. Get excited, Cowboys! Come on! Is it Yeehaw or Breven Fire? Valentine Holmes. And now we've got a goal kick here. Brilliant. 22 to 18. The difference is four now once again. Is once again. Never Ivan. Never, ever, ever Ivan. You will forever have to see this wonderful face. Who scores next? Well, that's the question. So far, a lot of tries for Cowboys in a row. You could argue Cowboys, but maybe Dragons make a response after being behind. Ugh, this game is just crazy. And look, we... Don't forget, 
do not forget, Legends. We still have, um... We still have one more game after this, all right? We still got one more. We still got one more wonderful game. It is the, um... It is the Tigers and the Sharkies at Leichhardt Oval. Can the Tigers surprise us all and beat the Sharks after the Sharks just came off two great wins against the Dogs and the uh, Tigger, the Tiggers, the, the not the Tiggers, the Tiggers are the team I'm talking about. The Tiggers, no, they came against the um, Warriors. There we go, Warriors. It was on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, Warriors too. Very interesting. I say, Cowboys, you did, Mel, you did say the Cowboys would come back, and that they did, legend, okay? I should I should respect you more. <laughs> should, have, should have backed your prediction more than I did at the time. Now, Cowboys, with all the momentum, refusing to give up. Cowboys held down now. Dragons holding him off. Now for the Fuaki. Drink water to Dearden. Dearden to Chad Townsend. Back over to Tom Chester. Tom Chester kicks low now. And the ball is going to go out of play at halftime here. All right, legends. Halftime is upon us. The scoreline, Dragons 18, Cowboys 22. It's been a roller coaster of emotions. And I expect nothing less but that in the second half. Already an upgrade on the last one. Absolutely brilliant so far. Quite like the Cowboys to do something like this. And now we say goodbye to the first half. And as SS Stormbird said there, it's time for the TJC Sports Halftime Show. With your host, TJC Sports, obviously. Who else would host? <laughs> Who else would host but the best host? There we go. The fact that it has been the best game this round is concerning. <laughs> I know, Legend. It's actually really concerning. That Dragons Cowboys has been the best round game so far. Don't worry, don't worry. Para and Manly will save the day and be the best game. Okay, Legend, when Para wins 50 billion plus. Alright? Brilliant. It'll be incredible. My mom's nephew played for them. Oh, the Cowboys? Well, that's cool, Mel. That's really cool. Glad to hear that. Um, I'm sure they did a good job for them. Uh, it takes a bit of skill to make it into those kind of teams, so good on him. Good on him for making it in there. Oh, it says really. Yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. Let's go. Mate, I agree with you. It's really concerning the fact that this is... We're at half time, and this genuinely might be the best game. It depends on what the second half brings, but it might have been the best one so far. Why? Why? Just why, you know, Legends? Why on earth would you give this to us? Why, oh 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 why would you do this to us? Do, 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 do. Um, Legends, feel free to ask some questions in the chat or share your thoughts on this game as we just discuss and kind of chill for half time. Because, you know, this is the most chill part of the stream, especially now that we're literally in the direct middle of Super Saturday. Look, I always love Super Saturday, but I can guarantee you, by the end of Tiger Sharks, I'm going to need to rest to boot myself up for the power vlog. Um, also, a little relief that I'm vlogging, because it's always a real tire to go straight from a Super Saturday to streaming the next day. I'll do that. I'll do that in the future with other rounds, because that's, like, you know... I'm kind of going to make it a habit where when para, stream, when para play, you know, I generally don't stream. Unless, of course, you know, I can't make the game in which place I'll probably stream the Para game. You know, that's kind of how it'll go with me, Legends. So, pretty pretty straightforward. 49 votes so far. 50 votes, guys. Come on. Come on. We always got to hit that 69 vote goal. Got to hit it. 50 votes. There we have it. Just need to hit 69. 19 more to go, Legends. I think... And then you are there. No, nah, no, nah, you can ask questions, Ivan. Just don't. You can be. You can ask questions, Ivan. Just um, keep. Just keep. Keep. Keep your head on, bro. Keep your head on. <laughs> keep the head on there. Keep it screwed on. Make sure you've got the um, nuts and bolts in it. Currently, right now, just waiting for the second half to kick off, legends. For those of you just tuning in, um. I'm, I'm really feeling this, you know, uh, for a first half, pretty damn nice, 
fourteen I am nice. Um, you know, I mean it was one it just went one way, then the other, one way, then the other, back and forth. It was like a it was a marathon, you know. It, remember, guys, they do say you know it's a marathon, not a not a sprint. So, what about footy? About footy, bro. About footy, Ivan. I can't believe Vitala Mariner bombs that that try try, mate. I can't believe he bombs that try either, bro. I can't believe he bombs that try either. But they're still next. Uh, <sighs> There's still next half, alright? There's still next half for him to get one, but yeah, he really should have got that try, which would have kept the Dragons in the lead, I reckon, by about two. Raymond Vitale is going to feel like he really let himself down on that one, eh? Alright. I think Manly... I think Manly will lose because of a loss, the loss of Saab. Well, the loss of Saab is big, but they were missing in versus the Roosters too, and they did all right. But um, yeah, I'm not complaining that you're back in power, bro. Come on, Pata let's go, bro. Parramatta all the way, legend. Getting it done. They're going to finish it off, mate. They're going to do it. They're going to win. Don't doubt them. Don't doubt the Parramatta Eels. They're going to get it sorted. You can't finish them. You can't stop them. When they're at their best, they are at... They're best. <laughs> when they're playing, they play, man. And they play to win. Oh, I'm just, I'm just ready. I'm ready, boys. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Listen, be kind, David. Be kind, bro. I'm back. Welcome, NRL to the NBA. It's welcome to the halftime show bit here, where we're just enjoying ourselves currently, just trying to chill late. And, um,. Kind of just discuss the game a little while also, you know, ask some NRL questions and all that stuff, you know. We all have that chill moment, don't we? Just really enjoying ourselves. Currently at 50 votes, guys. If we can get 69 votes, legendary. I hate that last stream we got 70 and I forgot. I seriously, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. It hit 70 before I could notice. You guys are pure evil. I bet someone voted twice really quickly on purpose. Uh. Sheesh, guys. Appreciate it. NRL to the NBA edits. I try, I'm I'm always cheerful here. Of course you are, Ivan. Of course you are, man. Nah, new score. Cow Cowboys win 26-48. Bro, you going for a much higher score line now in the second half, mate. Is it just going to be like bang, 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 bang? A lot more? Uh, para winning motor. I sure hope so, man. It will make the blog a lot better. Either way, I'm gonna make sure it's a good one, okay? I'll make sure it's king. I'll make it an amazing game, alright? Amazing. I'll make sure that blog is good. Seriously, I, I've been mapping out. I, I don't know. I don't know if this is normal for creators. This might be just unique for me. But for some reason, when it comes up to a game, I, like, map out in my head throughout the coming days, right before it, how I'm going to, like, what tunes I'm going to use, how I um, will set it up, the scenery, what, how I'm going to, like, make the beginning feel before I get to it. Because, like, also, when you do Combank vlogs so much, it's a great stadium, but because it's the same stadium, you want to change the way you show it each time to try and make the vlog that special kind of vlog at times. Especially when it's a big game like Para Manly for me. So I do appreciate everyone tipping Para. But I'm just keen to bring out some great content and cheer for my team. You know, like, I want to smash Manly. I do. But, um, you know, I'll just, t I'll take, I'll take a small win. You know, I'll take, I'll take a under six point win if we win. You know, too close, but still, I'll take it. Not sure I'd call you cheerful. <laughs> Tyler, obviously, Mel, he's still got... Mate, I'm fine, bro. I'm fine, Ivan. I'm fine. I'm cool. I'm good. I'm feeling great. I'm tipping Eels tomorrow. Monster and Nass is, ba is back round five against the Broncos. Round five against the Broncos, bro. Still got to wait a bit. Actually, round five... Round five... Hey, I haven't thought about this. I don't know if I'll stream round five. Because I'll be in Canberra. Won't I? I don't think I'll stream round five, will I? Because, because I mean, yeah, but how can I stream? The connection will be terrible at the hotel, right? Yeah, I. We'll see, but there's a chance I don't stream round five. 
Oh yeah, it'll be one hell of a vlog, but like, you know what I mean? I know what you mean. You gotta be realistic. Yeah, you gotta be realistic. So might, because I'll be in camera for Para Raiders, we might not stream round five, but we'll try to. We'll try to, Legends. That's what we'll try. Okay? Like, we'll give it... We'll give it an effort. Certainly. Cut it out. Jeez, bro. Jeez, Ives, bro. Jeez, Ives. Ives the scary man, one, man. I'm scary, bro. Scare we... We got this, Ivan. You've got it. You've got it in the bag, Legend. 53 votes. Oh, yes, yes. We're getting closer and closer to our goal. Do you still hate... Mate, like, nobody hates Eddie, but... I think people, you know... The word hate gets chucked around so much. To hate somebody, for me, they actually have to do you wrong. To to strongly dislike someone, you know, is a little different. You know, I think hate and dislike can be thrown in the same category at times, but then there's other times where they should be kind of put as, I'm not happy at the time with ya. <laughs> Second half, next up in the Dragons, the Cowboys Legends. 59% possession in the first half with 41% going to Dragons. Honestly, the stats say Cowboys, but that's because the Dragons just, once they took that 18 big lead, they just, they just keep, they just didn't keep it, bro. Just didn't keep it. Cowboys with a 94.4% completion rate. That is crazy. That's winning numbers, that completion rate right there from them. That's what you call victory. That's what champions do. That's the kind of completion rate I wish Para got. <laughs> These... Now, now we just take some deep breaths. The players are in the sheds. They're discussing with their coach. Their coach has given them the orders. Will it be Shane Flanagan or Todd Payton's day? Obviously, unlike Toddy, Shane has won a premiership, but that was all the way back in 2016. He hasn't co he hasn't won really coached a team to a premiership since then, so I have to wait and see. Uh, the birthday is in June, Ivan. Thank you. Mel says I don't hate anyone, mate. Yeah, exactly. You don't hate hate, or maybe one person. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you're picking out them. Poor them. Poor them. The one person. I think I think it's Jimmy Maloney. That's how the Cowboys are coming back. Mate, Jimmy Maloney. Maloney's getting behind them, tipping them up. Maloney, bro, the motivator. The man with the brain. The man with the head. The legend himself. He's hopping them up. He's getting them going. He's cheering them up, going, whoa, 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 whoa. Back in a minute, need a coffee, takes me a while. <laughs> hey, Mel, I completely understand. Take all the time you need for that, okay? We'll just be getting ready and hyped up for the second half. Legends, are you ready? <coughs> Your event will be right back. Happy early birthday. Appreciate it, Errol. That's an NBA edits. Uh, get it. <laughs> I don't. I, yeah, that's the funny thing. I find it tough to explain to people. I don't. I don't really drink. <laughs> you don't drink yeah, I don't. Do I? I. I. I've had the odd sit. I had that one can I tried on my 18th that you knocked over. I did. Yeah. Yeah, because of a no try. Sevo, if you scored that, I would have kept my. If you, if Sevo was never playing, I would have kept my drink. Yeah, exactly. I'm just too. I'm too awesome to need alcohol to excel. I'm too. I'm just too good, man. <laughs> yeah, Coca Cola, bro. Former, former Storm Rooster Warrior and Panther. Cowboys to score first in the second half, says SS Storm fan. First in the second half, Legends. Cowboys, they're kicking it off well. They're going to get it started. Look, I could see it. It wouldn't shock me. 
it wouldn't shock me if that was the case. Um, whoa, what am I? What am I doing? I'm just sorting out. Uh, just sorted out the uh, the thing right now, legends. Um, Ko. Yes, and home score first, mate. Valentine Holmes, you're gonna say he's gonna get it first try, Cowboys. Oh, mate, come on, you know, Holmes for a double, isn't that a little harsh on the Dragons? Surely they don't concede twice to him. Oh, my God, I just love it when the TV does this. Okay, one sec, go to get... I was going to get up for a second because it did the uh, standby, idle standby thing. You need to turn that up, off or something because it does it for me every time I use the telly. No, no, it's okay. I need to figure out how to turn it off somehow. Believe it or not, I'm not as tech-savvy as you think for somebody whose entire thing is on tech. Now, Legends, the Cowboys and the Dragons are out. 22 to 18, we kick off again here. Absolutely brilliant. Dragons, Cowboys, underway here. The second half begins. So now it's time to change what it says, Legends. The second half, the Cowboys... Defending for their lives against the Dragons. Second half. Second half. Let's update what that says. This game so far this round. It's been it's been way too good for a Cowboys Dragons game. Like I'm convinced somebody rigged the system. This it can't be this good. It can't be. They must be wearing costumes and they're secretly like the Pampers and the Roosters having a poor game. Now, high kick here. Bomb there, and Scott Drinkwater collects. Scott Drinkwater now with the rush down the middle. Held down on the 10. First tackle, and first minute out of the way of this second half. There, Kyle Felt. Pushing forward. Felt lost his position last year for the Cowboys, but has won it back for this season. I feel like this could be his last one. I do feel like I won't. We won't be seeing him for quite a while now after this um, back. At least I th I don't think so myself, but uh, we'll see. Now Ruben Cotter back over to Chad Townsend. Chad Townsend. Chad Townsend around the loop here, going round the twist to um, N Jeremiah Nanai. Chad Townsend. Chaddy kicking it high to Paddy and felt collect. Oh, no. Oh, man. And it ends up with slow. Now, Ravalawa going to Lomax. Lomax, just a whole other beast. He's back to his form he had in the centers in 2020, uh, I think it was. Maybe not 2019. He was incredible in that position for the Dragons. Come back, Comes back and does a great job here. Uh, but obviously this time he's playing on the wing instead of the centers. Now over shifting through the middle here. Held Todd Payton looking concerned in the box here. Come on Payton man. Come on back your team. It's 22-18. You're in the lead bro. You let, you didn't let, your team didn't let an 18-4 lead stop them from leading at half time. Like I feel like you don't need to be too concerned man. Just run through the gaps Cowboys. Well it's, it's. Simpler said than done, isn't it? Run through the gaps. Just run through the gaps. Just run through the gaps. They're listening to him. Murray Tulagi now. Murray Tulagi. And Zach Lomax reads it too well with help from Jack Bird. Finally a closer game. I know, right? Finally we get a closer game that isn't just a smashing. Like, because let's face it. All the games you felt like you knew who was going to win the entire time you were watching. This game I don't actually really... 100% know who's going to win. And, oh, Leilua. What a hit. Luciano Leilua, legends. Pew, pew, pew. He hits the Cowboys. Scott Drinkwater passes back here to Tom Chester. And the ref says, knock on. Oh, man, you're kidding me. <sighs> Mate, the fun was there, but no. Nah, the ref says, no, no, no. You're not allowed to have fun. 18 to 28 needs to happen. Needs to happen, man. It needs to happen for yourself. They could have had the chance there. They could have had the chance there, but at the end, it didn't work. Tom Chester just not able to get it. Bashing the table. Todd Payton knows that was a wasted chance for the Cowboys. Now, with a feed in the scrub, Carl Flanagan. 
Can, can the dragons get something off here? Now, yeah, Black Laurie. Black Laurie. Laurie through the right held. Zach Lomax. Lomax over held. Then short to Jack Bird. Where Jack Bird will now charge forward. Jack Bird, mate. Can he fly? Can he catch flight, bro? Mate, yeah, I should get a mic. I have a microphone, but it just. You guys never noticed the difference when I had it. You guys never noticed the difference. But yeah, we need a proper mic soon. The thing's just not. Uh, yeah, it's just not. They, it's not perfect, is it? The uh, microphone on the laptop. That's why we're getting a new thing when I get pat. When, when we get. I get paid. But if you're short. <laughs> it would help, man, wouldn't it? Alright, now Sloan. Collects. Tyrell Sloan, guys, pushing them off here. Fifth tackle. <sighs> I'm waiting for the Dragons to do something that they did for that first, like, ten minutes. That first ten minutes was brilliant from them, and then since then, haven't really seen it as much, have we? Sloan frustrated, honestly. He's not happy right now with how it's gone. He's not very happy at all with what it's gone. Yeah, I sound alright, but yeah, you're right. A mic would help make it sound a little clearer, wouldn't it? Intercept it, says Chad Pezzan. Well, they've got the ball now, so they don't need to intercept anything. They've just got to hold on and hope, Legend. Hold on and hope. Speaking of hoping, we're on 62 votes, Legends. Can we get 69? We're almost there. Almost there. Neem. Griffin Neem. Over to the halfway bit. Ben Hunt with Raymond Vitala Mariner holding them off. Reese Robson to Tom Dearden. Tom Dearden, a player that the Dragons were convinced they could try to buy. He, They take him out of play. Dragons. That's what we're talking about. That's what we are talking about. My chat is the load. Sorry. That's all good, Jetson. That's all good, Legend. <laughs> That's all good, bro. It's fine, dude. Okay? Hey, um, thanks for the clarification. I'll keep that in mind when reading your chats now. <laughs> I'm not doing... I'm not doing a Rugby Lake 4 showcase this week. Um, oh, that's unfortunate, but hopefully, mate, you can um, do another one in the future. Now the Dragons. Opportunity arises on the mountains for them. Come on. St. George, do it for your area. Illawarra and the entire St. George. Got it behind you, bro. They're ready. They want you. They want you. They want you to do it, Dragons. Jack Bird taking flight through the defense. Honestly, there's a lot of debate. Is Jack Bird a center or is he just... For me, Jack Bird's also just a utility in general. He can play a lot of forward positions, yes, but he can play center too. Luciano Lua running all the meters. Brilliant. Now to Flanagan. And Kyle Felt gets held down for a goal line dropout. Brilliant, though, effort from Luciano Lua. That's what we are talking about. Luciano Lua with the effort for days. Luciano Leshoa. Oh, Le Beautiful. Le Beautiful from Le Lua, that. Oh, and Moses Sutley chase him well there to tackle him. Now they go for the short kickoff. And it works out for the Cowboys. Lucky them because the Dragons were in a prime opportunity to do something. Lucky, lucky. Lucky days for the Cowboys there. Oh my days, they almost lost that light, but no, they kept it ignited. That fire is in them. Now the Cowboys, Jake Granville. Granville, absolutely pummeled by Molo. Now to Robson, who clears it to Scott Drinkwater, who goes down, kicks it to the far left, and oh, off slow now to play, right? Far out, mate. Tyrell Sloan Legends running into the crowd there. <laughs> and there you have it. Yeah, the Cowboys Legends, they're going to get the ball from right in front. What a smashing kick there. Reese Robson now. Taps and goes. Over to Granville. Back, back. 
Go Sam McIntyre. Sam McIntyre, mate, the legend. McIntyre, McIntyre. Chatty Town said to name, name for a double potentially. He couldn't find his way through. The Dragons, this is going to be one of the biggest moments for them in this game. Their hearts on the line, their team on the line, their possible game on the line. I know it's only half an hour, but still! Bit of blocking! The number 11 for the Cowboys! Scores! 18-26, surely going to be 18-28 in a second. T-R-Y, it's a try, no doubt in my mind. Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys, that is brilliant. Oh, look at him go, man. Look at the way he twists there. And he doesn't hit the ground, or at least the ball doesn't, so every right for the momentum to bounce him forward. Absolutely brilliant. And now we have another try for the Cowboys. And Kalikvu Finifuayaki, or whatever, game 15, tries free. Still 29 minutes and a half to go in this game. The Cowboys, you get a, I mean, you know, if you were a tip of Dragons, you got excited at the start of this game, but then Cowboys just came raging on back, didn't they? They didn't want to give you anything. Valentine Holmes, guys, for the kick, right in front here, all the players watching, all of the crowd watching, except for those random Dragons fans in the background on their phones. <laughs> Attaboy, Valentine Holmes putting it in the zones. There we go. What a try and what a kick. 28-14. I mean, 18. Jeez. 28-18, Legends. A 10-point lead to the Cowboys. Let's go for Nefawakiki. Uh, the guy I went to school with. Sweet as a stuff and glad he got it for you, Legend, mate. I know you wanted him to score and there you have it. He bagged it for you. The legend himself, he needed to give you something to be happy about, and there it is. Officially legend, you can be happy finally. You can be excited that you got it. Be happy, bro. Be happy. Don't worry. Chad Townsend. To Griffin Name. Griffin Name got about four dragons on him there, eh? Then to the left, where we've got McIntyre. Oh! Oh, what a hit on him. Dan, Dan Gillen and Greg Alexander. Now nah, you got me. Robson. Raymond Flatella Mariner Mariners himself into that tackle. Scott Drinkwater. Drinkwater with the dummy. Scott Drinkwater. Scott Drinkwater. No. Scott. 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 Oh, what, what, what's happened with Scott? The screen froze. There we go. Scott. Scott. And right, now it's passed backwards over to the Dragons. Are you kidding me? Oh. Now Lomax. Back to Moses Suli. Moses Suli. Moses Suli held down now. Zach Lomax. Over to the right now. Moves over forward. Hits it in the middle. Now short pass. Mikhaili Ravalawa. Ravalawa with the little tippy toes here. $2, two dollar store Michael Sevo held down. Now Moses Suli. Suli. Now back over. Luciano Leilua held down. Flanagan. Flanagan. Flaps, flaps again. Passes it to Jack DeBellin. Jack DeBellin, guys, forcing it over J Jake Granville. Come on. First, first try of the half for Dragon. Oh, no. Lomax. Oh, Lomax. He's unhappy with himself there. Ah, uh, saying not so child-friendly words there about himself. Jeez. Zach Lomax, ladies and gentlemen. That was an incredible effort to catch it, but the Cowboys put too much pressure on him and he dropped it. Should have been a try, man. The way Lomax put himself in there.
How do dragons look, champ? Do they look likely? Well, they... I actually think it's looked more cowboys the entire game, man. It's looked cow more cowboys. The oh, Valentine Holmes! The Tom Dearden! Speak of the devils! The cowboys are over again down the middle! There is levels to this! And Dearden has surpassed all of them! Tom Dearden! The cowboys lead 32-18! Lomax will be regretting not bagging that try earlier. Brilliant effort from the Cowboys to get back into this. Far out. 32. They've officially scored as many points as the Dogs did versus the Titans. Only they've also conceded 18, the difference being. Tom Dearden, guys. Oh, get in. Up by the cows is gets it, bro. They're doing you proud. Hoo-wee. 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 64 votes. Mate, Lomax is... Oh. Well, there is my answer, Lomax. Yep, there's your answer, Legend. There's your answer. You asked it and Tom Dina provided. The Cowboys. It's going to be 34 to 18 in a second. It doesn't look like the Dragons are coming back, uh, Legends. It looks like the um, Cowboys have done it. It looks like the Cowboys have sealed themselves their, their, their moment. Yep, 16 up now, Legend. 16 up. Scoreline. Scoreboard. Scoreboard. 34 to 18. Really sad if cows choke this lead. They won't choke this lead, Legend. Surely not. Surely not with 25 minutes to go. I mean, they could, but surely not. All right, that's what I'm going to say. Surely they don't. I don't think they will, mate. My man, Ivan. My man, bro. My man, Will. I might be five out of five. I might be five out of five as well in a second, bro. Might be five out of five. Five out of five. And then... That would mean also Sharks win tomorrow. If Sharky, if Sharky, I mean not tomorrow, if Sharkies win today, then Sunday's where it decides whether I'm 8 out of 8. And there's a penalty for the Cowboys here. Is there anybody on Dragon's side anymore? <laughs> Raymond Vitale Mariners not careful enough with his tackle and now concedes them a... A, oh, a penalty. 34 to 18. Could they hit 40 in this game, the Cowboys? That's the real let, let down. The master predictor, SS Storm fan. Mate, SS Storm fan, he is the master predictor, bro. The Bronx choked on that lead again, la on that lead last year. Oh. Yeah, but that's the Bronx, man. <laughs> that's the Bronx. We don't try to think too hard about it, do we? There's a reason they call them the. The uh, Bronx Chokes, I believe it's what the Titans and stuff call them. Tom Dearden, back over to Scott Drinkwater. Scott Drinkwater, like a bullet to the wind, held down. Chad Townsend gets it to McIntyre. Sam McIntyre now. Sam McIntyre kept out and tackled. Now, now Reese Robinson to Chad Townsend. And Chad Townsend has been tackled. Fifth one. And now the ball goes to the Dragons. Chad, what was that? Completely misread what to do in that play. Terrible stuff. They were 18 to 4 down. What, mate, at one point. Exactly. 18 to 4 down, and now it's 34 to 18. The Cowboys have completely changed the match. The game is completely different now. And all that the Dragons have to blow, besides the Cowboys being a good team, is themselves. And now Broncos fans saying it should be an easy win against them next week are going a little quiet. I mean, I'm the most... Oh, this calls me a But I call every... I call, I, both of you, bro. I call you both, but you're still legends. <laughs> still legends, Will. Come on, you know this, bro. You know this. You know this, you muppet. All right, now. Marsh. Hunt with the incredible kick and Scott Drinkwater. Scott Drinkwater. Now Lomax giving him a hug there, tackling him. Over to the right here, Chad Townsend. 
goes to Phelps. Phelps must have felt that tackle. Ooh. What did to what did Todd say to them half time? I don't know what Todd said to them at half time, but they just decided to keep going, bro. Mate, Lomax needs to be like, mate, there's a reason Lomax wants to leave. I think Lomax is ready for better than this. <laughs> and so is Hunt. They need players that want to be there for a rebuild, that have a lot of years in their career to give. Because the thing is, is that Hunt and Lomax are players that are, feel like they're close to the best they will be and want to be at a team that's doing well. Tom Dearden, oh no, the Cowboys knock it on. The Cowboys knock it on. The chance was there, but they messed it up. It wasn't meant to be in this one. <coughs> Lomax needs to, mate. Well, it said me also. I said everybody, bro. I said both. Not when Tisha calls me a muffin. It means he cares. <laughs> it means, yeah, exactly. It means I care, bro. It means I care. There you have it. Lomax wants goat, mate. Lomax wants to be the goat, bro. Wants to be the goat. Come on, he can be a legend at Power, bro. He can be a legend. He can be a great player. Now, Mask to Jack DeBellin, to Hunt, to Tyrell Sloan. Tyrell Sloan now held down on the 30 meter line, line here. Mask. Ben Murdoch Vasilla. Mate, Ben Murdoch Vasilla. Brute force there just purely from him. The former New Zealand warrior. Jack DeBellin now gets it over to Hunt. Hunt dummies here. Ben Hunt gets it back to 10 meters. Eisenhoof. And now to Lomax and the ref. Oh, the linesman. They're going forward. Lomax is like, come on, man. You could have given me that. Lomax legends, he doesn't get it. Eisenhoof, though, look at that. Look at that. Oh, they sure did come back. Nice, mate. Mel, they more than, they more than came back. They, they smashed it. <laughs> they smashed it. They destroyed it. They... They made sure that the that the Dragons never even thought that they ever had a chance in this one. Never even thought it. People in general should be proud with the Cowboys. Any Cowboys fan. Any Cowboys fan, you're right, should be proud. What takes you so long now? What takes you so long, Legend? It's been ages. Lomax to Tigers says Jet Season. Mate, Lomax to the... Nah, nah, get Lomax away from the Tigers, bro. Mate, Lo, Lomax to freaking... Freaking... Uh, bro, Lomax to Barra. Chad Townsend. And off the Dragons it comes. Oh, off the Dragons it comes. Here they go. The Cowboys getting another chance. Salute. <laughs> Pull out the red carpet, Legends. Exactly. Pull out the red carpets in the chat, Will. Pull it out for her. Jet said that you like Lomax. He likes Lomax, bro. What's up? Hey, Broncos X Edits. Welcome to the chat, legend. We've got um, we've got uh, one more stream after this. 20 minutes left of this stream. Uh, pretty legendary so far. We are over halfway through the Super Saturday. Always do look forward to Super Saturdays and the live streams and all that good stuff. Scott Drinkwater. With a wonderful pass. Probably could have gotten another off, but Val Holmes wanted to burst over there. Oh, you never know when you're a center. When you come in quick, players may not hit you. Did it. To Jeremiah Nadai. Jeremiah Nadai. Nadai. Nadai for the line. And Nadai held down. So now you're going Broncos next edits, bro. And all of you, I would do that. And oh, Valentine, I was just talking about it. You never know. He runs down there and grabs the try. 38 to 18. This just became a runaway for the Cowboys. To think that they were ever down in this game. To think it was ever 18-4 in favour of Dragons. Lomax got bro. Bro, Lomax ain't, mate. Lomax is the only player that's really shone for this team at this moment, legend. Mel wasn't... wasn't God log, but missed quite a bit by the looks. Yes, you did, Bell. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You did. It's 38 to 18 now. It'll be 40 in a sec. 40 in a sec. 40 if Val, if Val can get this one. One try, one try assist, six tackle busts, 164 run meters, five out of six goals tonight. Wow. 
the former Cronulla Shark, his team that his former team plays the next game of this. Holmes, guys. If he gets this. Look, wouldn't it be funny if they hit 50? I'm not going to say they will, but, mate, imagine. Like, yeah, Broncos X edits. You just said it now, too. What if they hit 50 after this? After what was expected? Dragons score one more, right? <laughs> they need to, Well, surely. Come on, mate. Can the Dragons get one more? Can we throw them a bone? Can we just get them a little bone, guys? Two more votes away from the goal. Oh, throw them a bone. Yeah, Valentine Holmes. No questions there. Gets it right down the middle. And now it is 40 to 18. 50, there ain't no way. 40 to 18. Oh, my goodness me. 30 to... Oh. Nah. Nah. And the Cowboys go that. Injured here. Jeez, Ivan. What, says Ivan? Dragons looking mud, bro. They're looking mud ever since they had that 18 points. Once they got that 18 points, they look like mud the whole time. Dragons go for the short kickoff. It goes backwards. Ends up with the Cowboys now. Now McLean to Dearden to Valentine Holmes. The gap's there. Holmes. Holmes running away as if he's at home. And held down on just over the halfway line. Now over to the right. Ruben Cotter with the run here. Cotter's got no motor to stop him. Absolutely going into first gear. Back over to Chatty, da Chatty Townsend. Chatty Townsend now. Chatty Townsend pushes back. And now Granville collects. Granville smash into the Grayville. Now McLean with the clean sweep. The clean push. The dr the t They want it. They want it, guys. The Cowboys. They want 50. They want 50. They're going for it. Robson. Dearden. Townsend. To Scott Drinkwater. Back to Val Holmes. Two more tackles left. Go like Red for Lomax. Bro, go like Red for Lomax so far. Who's injured? Nobody right now. Cowboys attack is very good. Cowboys attack has been brilliant um, so far, Bosky. Incredible, actually, this game. Try time again. Try time. Try time again. Shane Townsend. Shane Townsend, the halfback, goes over for the Cowboys. 44 18. There you have it. Shady putting it on the patty. Over the line. That is what we want to hear. Chatty, guys. Putting his former side. Showing his former side, Cronulla, what he can still do for teams. Look at that. Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. Oh, beautiful. 44 legends. Soon to be 46. Dragons have absolutely... They have just choked. Mate, they've suffocated this lead. Alright? They've completely ruined it. It was 18-4, to 4, and now they're, they're down the barrel of 46-18. to 18, Currently 44. Confident Cowboys will pass 50. Honestly, I'm confident too. 14 and a half minutes to go. If you're a Dragons fan, gosh, okay. You're probably, you're not as moody as the Titans, but you're not happy. And there you have it. 46, it will be. Valentine Holmes making all the people at their homes in Townsville cheer. 46. And so what do you reckon for Lomax, mate? Lomax. He'll Lomax till Lomax like joins the Cowboys or something, and then he'll be like, "Oh no, go 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 Lomax, go Lomax." <laughs> if they keep on going like this, it could be sixty, bro. The Cowboys are just running at them. If I'm Dragons, I don't even go short anymore. Or are they doing it? They're gonna go short again, mate. Surely you don't. And yeah, no, they don't go short. I was gonna say, surely you don't go short again after what happened. Now McLean, Jesse McLean. McLean, Luciano Leilua holding him back with Blake Laurie. Then Robson over to the left. One vote away from our goal, legends. Jeremiah Nanai. Jeremiah Nanai. Nanai Shantai. Held down. Then Granville gets it back to Dearden, who gets it over to Holmes. Valentine, I'm feeling right at home here. Yes, Simon. 
but I take so long because I can't walk at the moment. Yeah, can't, she can't. She can't walk at the moment, legend. This round is a round of a flow, mate. Yeah, it's round of flow, mate. Totally, so many rounds, mate. Dominance everywhere you look. Every single game has been essentially domination. Hopefully, power manly's different, but yeah. Exactly. Can't walk right now. Oh, man. It could be 60s a little harsh, but you know what? You're right. They're doing terrible. They're doing awful. Could be 60. Could be anything. Now, could be anything is what I say a lot, I think, with these kind of games, but still. And we have a penalty here. Cops it to the head, Legends, the Dragons, and the Cowboys. Pressure on the neck. Pressure on the neck there. How you doing? Howdy, howdy, ho, TJ. Howdy, uh, howdy, TJC. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Howdy, NRL, NBA edits. Let's get ready for a whopper of a game. Mate, faster than two, gal two, two cows in a fuck top two race about Seattle. I don't freaking know. The Texas, mate. <laughs> cowboys, 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 Texas, stuff like that. Lomax Jetson, what a name. Lomax Jetson, bro. That's the name. Meet the Jetson. He's the greatest guy in history. From the NRL chat. He's about to cheer Cowboys. Yeah! Lichiana Lailua. Lichiana held on the 20 meter. Now Mask to the Bellin. Eisenhoof's away. Eisenhoof. Eisenhoof couldn't quite push himself far enough there. Come on, guys. One vote away from the goal. Surely you want to get it. And Tyrell Sloan. He should have backed himself and got in. Mask kicks low. And, ah, oh, it's just chaos there. Not good enough. If I'm Shane Flanagan, oh, I'm feeling a little let down. You know, but also, the Dragons were never expected to win this game. So, the fact that they ever were in the lead by, by more than, like, six points is kind of impressive. But how they've let it fall apart is where it's really been the letdown for them. Howdy the Cowboys. Cowboys are looking like they're back to their 2022 form. If they keep it up, Legend, they 100% are. They really are looking like they're back to some kind of good form here. The Dragons with a full set on the 10 meter line, guys. Oh, boo. It happened again. It happened again. Two straight votes and we skip 69. And go to 70. Who is this person? Oh, betcha. Skips it twice. Waits and then skips it. Hello, Dean Love Stuff. Welcome to the chat, mate. Now back over. Zach, Lo Zach Lomax. Carl Flanagan held. Mask. To Eisenhoof. Tom Eisenhoof now. Tom Eisenhoof held. Over. Flanagan. Hunt and Dragons are in for a try. Yes, they are. And who else would it be but Zach Lomax again? Zach Lomax again. Doubters beware. This man's going to be insane if he went to power. Brilliant. I don't know about the traditional what. Cowboys 2024 Premiership. Well, the 2024 Premiers could not do it on Lomax there. Honestly, I think Lomax could have let Luciano add that one, to be honest. Um, Luciano is former club. I don't know what. I don't know why Luciano stopped for Lomax. Luciano should have gone through there. He barely scored. He's a second rower man. Second rower man. He should have gone over. And now it's 22-46. The Dragons finally finding themselves a way back into this. Well, I wouldn't say, exactly say back into it, but at least making it a little less embarrassing. Every point they score makes the loss look a little better. Every single point. Up the Dragons, says Mel. <laughs> Up the Dragons. I don't know, either Lomax scores. Yes, Zach Lomax scores. Zlucky Ball and Lomax getting it done. Now Lomax, guys. He's looking up. He's going, I oh, know this doesn't matter, but I'm going to make sure I kick this beautiful. Now, beautiful goal there, and it's 
It's 24. It's 24, 46 legends. There you go. 24, 46. Boom, 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 boom. Also, no, you don't, legend. You don't have to sub chat. It's not on the... I don't know where some of you guys get that idea because in the chat, it's 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 not the setting. It, the setting is anybody can chat, legend. So I don't really know where you guys uh, get that idea from. But, um, you know... I guess let's see, yeah, live chat, live chat, replay it. <laughs> anyone. It's on anyone, man. It's on anyone, bro. See, there we go. I don't know why that for that street for that um don't know why it changed that for a second. That's weird. That's weird. It shouldn't have changed to that. Don't know, probably a mod changed it without telling me, but there you go, legends. It's back on. Now third tackle. Carl Flanagan here. Now Marsh over to the right. <laughs> I know. I should... <laughs> you don't watch it. I know. I just said I turned it off because for some reason it was on. I don't know why it was on. It hasn't been on for any stream in the past. And I remember they said it was on last stream. And it uh, wasn't on when I checked the settings. So odd that it was on there. It's not meant to be. But yeah, there you go. Fixed it. You got to remember, Legends, okay, that content creators aren't just um, entertainment. They're people going out of their way to enjoy entertaining you, okay? Like, they're people with lives that are, can get confused and make mistakes just as much as you can, um, you know? Like, for example, you know, you can create content, but I doubt that first go you can create the exact same level as... You could create exact the exact same level because you got to start somewhere before you get to the top. All right, seriously, I don't actually think you can be. I don't think you can necessarily do creation like I do until you're until you're in your late teens, to be honest, because that's when you find the maturity to be able to accept every fan base and to be able to, you know, g give out your best self. Because if you don't. Um, you know, I want to say this. If I was my 10-year-old self or something, my 12-year-old self, anywhere around that area, you know, it would all be too much for me because people are just really quick to be upset with mistakes. And it's kind of like, you know, it's not a big deal. Michaeli Ravalawa, that's kind of how I view it. Ravalawa, hell damn. Mate, the moderator can do a lot of stuff at all. It's an NBA edits, bro. No, hell, it's not okay. By the way, you know that moderator's not just a gift, bro. You've actually got a mod too, at all. It's an NBA edits, so you've got to look through the chat, look through. If anybody says something that's insulting or, like, of that, or that's, you know, an actual issue, you do your job as a mod and you get rid. Oh, dear, Ivan, what's happened to the Crusaders this season? What happened, bro? My prediction, Dragons... 82, Cowboys 46. Well, well, you did predict Cowboys 46, so good on you, Broncos X Edits, but the 82, no, no, not happening. Well, we are the emotional ones, Tyler. <laughs> the emotional ones here, Legend, the emotional ones. Oh, it's Mel, it's okay, Legend. And, oh, penalty for being offside here. You're kidding. Five and a half minutes to go. This game is done. This game is done. This game is finished, bro. Even if the Dragons were to do something here, this game is finished. Exactly. Mod should promote the channel as well. It's not just a gift. All right. It's not just a gift. Um, the um, Yeah, it's not just a gift, bro. It's a, um, you know, it's a job. Yeah, exactly. If they do something wrong, you put them in time out for five minutes. Fifth loss, bro. Terrible loss, too. Penalty here for Marsh. Now the Dragons. Blake Laurie here. Laurie laying down the Laurie on the team. Held down. Now Marsh to the left. Jack DeBellin passes back to Carl Flanagan for a potential double. And stops. Well, my name's not John Tyler, but you can call me John Tyler, legend. This game, this game was kind of like last round 11. Yeah, it's been a bit of a letdown. It's been, it's been a bit of an, uh, it was great in the first half. The second half, it's kind of been fizzled out a little, I'd like to say. 
we'll we'll make it top eight by ten percent chance only. By ten percent chance, bro. Ten percent chance. A ten percent chance that it happens. A ten percent chance that they get it done. Beautiful there from from Fidoaki. Gotcha. You gotcha. Yeah, exactly. You gotcha me, bro. Four minutes left in this game. Cowboys, guys, just simply too good for the Dragons to handle. The Dragons, they were better for the start, but the Cowboys, they just simply outlasted them and went going for the full 80. Credits to them. They've definitely got, gotten much better than they were last year. Yeah, that's why you call me Tyler, man. I know that, bro. I know that. I was just letting you know my name's not, uh, my name's not, you know, John Tyler. I just am fine with you calling me that. That's what I meant, dude. And that's what I said. <laughs> All right. Good win from the Cowboys, but I am still not convinced by the Cowboys. Haven't beaten any good sides yet, so they can't really rank them highly. Yes, they're free and oh, but they have an easy draw to start. Because let's be real, Dolphins, Knights, and Dragons is probably the easiest start to the year of any team. True, man. They haven't beaten any team that was expected to be well, good. But, um, you know, don't. they've also looked decent, bro, on the ball, though. But you're right. we got to wait and see King Julian. We can't make any assumptions. If Broncos had their draw, they would be free and oh as well. Exactly. Exactly right. And, oh, the, dra the Cowboys were looking to try and get 50. They kicked it down the sideline. But Lomax just read it too well and put a show on to the max. So, Miss Chat trying to catch up. You're trying to catch up. But you're going through it all, Will, trying to catch up with everybody. Griffin Neem sounds like that very boy from high school. He really does, doesn't he? He sounds like that kind of guy that would get up to mischief. Mischief. Like, <laughs> Don't know where you got that, where you got that, bro. <laughs> Don't know where you got that from, Ivan. <laughs> uh, 50, 60. Yep, it's a 70-point game, Legend. So nothing to write home about. Nothing to write home about. Absolutely not. But credit to them for not losing the will after going 18-4 to down. Okay, now Moses Sully. Moses Sully with the spin. McIntyre and Chad Townsend holding him off. If, if Cowboys had the draw we had, they would probably be one and two right now, like we are. Probably, Legend. Probably, but you know that's um that that that's not the dra that's not the Cowboys' fault. Dragons with a good kick there, and the Cowboys Scott Drinkwater saving the day for them, and he hasn't been tackled, so he's allowed to run. Surely, no wait. They're gonna take it back here, push him, tell him you got to play the ball instead, Legend. I guess he was tapped. On the ground or something. But he wasn't like. He wasn't held down to me. No. Oh Dean's our newbie. Nice boy just turned 11 I think. Just turned 11 legends. The new one. The new one just turned a whole 11 years old. Okay guys. Now on the ankle here. Taking a look at Jack Osowski on the um, sideline aren't they. Taking a look making sure he's alright. Now McLean to the right. Na na Nathan Nathan na na ha ha ba ha 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 na. I don't know what you're on about Broncos, but still haven't seen scores like these since Super League. That's what my father told me, anyways. <laughs> Mate, yeah, I haven't seen scores like it since then, have ya? Dragons out of play here. I don't think the Cowboys are gonna hit fifty, but still, um, still a great performance. Ivan Grade and Nathan Cleary. <laughs> King Julian I six is and really if they beat us next week it really doesn't say much because Broncos won't be full strength that week. True, but you did say that he does fill him well, um, Sailor. He's not as good as Walsh though, yeah. And I think you can't really say Cowboys are good if they beat a depleted Broncos team. Yeah, but you could at least say that they've got had a good start. You know, you can't you can't confirm how good they are as a side yet, but like you can say that they've had a good start. Scott Drinkwater to McIntyre. McIntyre, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And they will not hit 50. It'll be a finishing scoreline of 46 
24. Thanks for watching, Legends. All right, seriously, great stream. Make sure you like and subscribe, everybody. All right, like and subscribe. The next game today is going to be, um, what's, it's going to be Sharks and that, and that's going to be due to kick off at 7.35. We're going to be starting the stream at 7.30, so I'll see you guys in nine minutes. All right, legends, thanks for watching, everybody. Cowboys 3-0, congrats to them. Make sure you get over to the next stream, legends, and check it out, all right? Make sure you like and sub if you haven't yet. I'll see you over there in about 10 minutes. Woohoo. Congratulations, Cowboys. You put the Dragons lead to shame. You put it to absolute shame. Yeah, I'm live for the next game, bro. I'm live for the next game. See you in the next one. Check out the link there where it'll be for the next stream, Legends. Make sure you like it, share it around, sub all that good stuff to make sure it's the best possible. The Cowboys do need to fix their defense, but that's a, that's a chat to talk about when we um, come back. Legends!